In this video, we're going to rewrite a second-order ODE into a system of first-order ODEs. Why do we need to rewrite second-order ODEs, or higher, as a system of first-order ODEs? Well, if you read the ODE45 documentation, you'll see that it only accepts first-order ODEs, so we can't directly plug a higher-order ODE into the function. Rewriting a higher-order ODE as a system of first-order ODEs allows us to sort of trick MATLAB into solving our equation. Here's a very well-known second-order ODE, the pendulum. I won't derive the equation of motion, but here it is. This is a nonlinear second-order ODE. The theta double dot term here makes it second-order, and the sine theta term here makes it nonlinear. The question is, how do we rewrite this using just first derivatives? I'll leave the pendulum EOM at the top. Let's introduce z. z has theta in the first row and theta dot in the second row. We're just changing the notation to let z have two components. If we take the derivative of z, z dot, we get theta dot in the first row and theta double dot in the second row. We introduced z as a new variable so now we need to write z dot in terms of z instead of in terms of theta dot and theta double dot. Notice that z dot of 1, or the first element in the z dot vector, equals theta dot, which just equals the second element in the z vector, z of 2. The second element in the z dot vector, z dot of 2, equals theta double dot. If we go back up to the pendulum EOM, we can see that theta double dot just equals this entire term moved over to the right hand side. If we go back down, we can replace this theta here with z of 1. So now z dot of 2, or the second element in the z dot vector, equals theta double dot, which just equals negative g over l times sine of z of 1 instead of sine of theta. So here's the z dot vector written in terms of the z vector. This is how we converted the second order equation of motion into two first order ODEs. This process is a precursor to something called state space, which is heavily used in vibrations and controls. In the next video, we'll code this in MATLAB. 